All right, I wanted to just read this one out. I was busy earlier doing doing a preparation for a test, so I just wanted to read this one out and you know stick to my commitment. Um, where are we getting this from? Watcher News. Uh, the uh, hot Arthur Michael Grulon, and this was written September 6, twenty two, and I think that's uh, yesterday. Ripple confirms CBDC announcements com coming soon. Ripple will be announcing more CBDC in the coming weeks, according to Ripple's Anthony Welfare. Welfare is a CBDC advisor at Ripple. Just in Ripple, it's funny that, that guy's name is Welfare. But yeah, no, just in Ripple senior advisors say there will be CBDC announcement in the coming weeks. Welfare responded to a tweet by a valued XRP community member. Sentosomosaba. The tweet cites an interview with Welfare from June 17, 2022, which had some pretty significant quotes, such as Ripple has several pilots in the progress for CBDCs, including the Royal Monetary Authority of Bhutan and the Republic of Palau. For Ripple, crypto is an is in our DNA. Another quote from the interview says, our Ripple X business unit is focused on, on making it easy for developers to build on, on and, and the XRP ledger. Build on and the XRP ledger. That doesn't make no sense. That doesn't make no sense much. <laughs> as well as partnering with others in the, commun in the crypto space, on use case like NFTs and CBDCs. He thanked Sento, Sento for the tweet mention offering an extra bit of information that is promised by Ripple XRP users. And as you can see, on our, I'm guessing this is Twitter, Sento Somo Saba says Ripple has several pilots in progress for CBDC, including the Royal Monetary Authority, RMA, of Bhutan and the Republic of Palau. Several more than two and fewer more, more than many in progress. Thanks, Sento Somo Soba. <laughs> Sento Somo Soba. Saba. For the mention, make sure you follow me. For more CBDC announcements in the next few weeks. Of course, the next few weeks is a very broad time frame. However, it is still great news, especially among all the CBDC speculation already brewing, brewing in the in the Ripple XRP community. XRP is currently sitting at 0 0.32, basically 32 cents, according to the coin market cap. XRP is looking at a potential bull run over the next month. Enter in quarter, um, quarter, fourth quarter, basically Q4 mean four, four, fourth quarter of the year. I think they break it down into like what? Uh, there's how many months in the year? Twelve, and basically divide that by four. Those are the quarters that they um, they every three months, right? We will update you once these announcements are made. And I guess that's the article right there. So, uh, Binance price prediction September 2022. I don't really like reading about price predictions. Um, yeah. And then you have uh, Cardano ADA price prediction September 2022. I don't, as I said, I don't really re like to read about price. Because um, price fluctuate up and down, up and down. One minute is this, next minute is that. And you know what I'm saying? So I rather just stick to um the fundamentals of the of the software. So Polygon, Ethereum merge will erase ninety-nine point one of carbon footprint. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Polygon Network says that the upcoming Ethereum merge will erase approximately ninety-nine point one percent of the network's carbon emissions. I guess that's a good thing. The upcoming merge will make mining the coin much more environmentally stable. So this person who said this on Twitter, Watcher Guru, 
Polygon says Ethereum's merge to proof of stake will cancel out 99.91% of its network carbon emissions. That's almost 100%. The merge is estimated to cancel out a whopping 99.91% of Polygon's network carbon emissions, reducing the, the annual total to just 56.22. What is that? TCO2E, whatever that means. The company says... And then we can look up what that means. Uh, let's see. I don't want to. I don't want to lose this page. Okay. I mean, we can look at it later. The company says the merge also aims to reduce Ethereum's electricity consumption by ninety-nine point nine nine, according to Crypto Carbon Ra- uh, Radiance Institution Institute (CCRI). The majority, or 99.92% of Polygon's emissions, originate from the chain's activity on the Ethereum base layer. That leaves 50.13 TCO2E attributable to Polygon's own POS network, according to the according to the report. Polygon revealed earlier this year that the network is working to reduce its carbon footprint on the world. The Polygon Network's annual carbon emissions through July 2022 stood at 60,952.26 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent. According to a CCRI estimate, this puts the total emissions for the chain since its inception at 94,782. The Ethereum merge will have a positive impact on the broader ecosystem of crypto. Quote, we believe that operating responsibly is just the starting line, said Stefan Renton, Polygon's sustainability lead. Quote, we see blockchains and distributed ledger technology supporting and scaling lasting positive impact on the world, helping create a healthier, fairer, thriving planet. Lastly, the merge will go into the full effect between September 15 and September 20th, according to multiple Ethereum development blogs. And scroll down to Russia working on platforms for stable coins across border, of course border. And, you know, this is why it's important to read because when I was looking at these videos, some of these um, hosts would say Russia yeah, banned CBDC or crypto technology and all these. For a country to in today's world to ban this technology, which is coming from. Uh, derived from crypto and blockchains, they're 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 foolish. Basically, that that's that's a foolish argument, a foolish statement that any country in the world is going to be banning technology. What free technology? Free technology? Okay, so Russia has begun working on creating platforms for cross border settlements in stablecoins, according to the Russia Deputy Minister of France, Deputy Finance Minister. Alexei Moyes Moiziev Moiziev reveal the new objective for the Bank of Russia and Finance Ministry. Stablecoins have a makeup that is meant to keep them at a stable price. So, uh, Rush, uh, basically, Watcher Guru on Twitter just just said Russia Deputy Minister in France says they are working on platform for cross border settlements. That's basically CBDC. On the other hand, this is contrary to the law signed by President Vladimir Putin earlier in the summer. In July, Russia issued a law that bans digital payments in the country. Uh, I guess (laughs) guess some of those videos are true. Well, according to this article, anyway, Russia has previously had a harsh stance on digital and cryptocurrency. However, it has come to the conclusion that it is responsible for that it is impossible to do without cross-border settlements in cryptocurrency. Of course, quote, 
We are currently working with a number of countries to create bilateral platforms in order to use dollars and euros, Mosev says in the statement. Quote, we offer mutually acceptable tokenized instruments that will be used on these platforms, which are essentially clearing platforms that we are currently developing with these countries. Stable coins can be pegged to some generally recognized instrument, for example, gold, the value of which is clear and observable for all participants, unquote. The report did not name which countries Russia will include in these new platforms. The finance ministry hopes to resolve issues related to cross-border payments in cryptocurrencies during the state Duma autumn session. The state Duma is the lower house of parliament. They will be meeting sometime this week. Okay, we're going to wrap this up. So this is not financial advice, guys. This is just me reading and sharing how I research my investments. All right. So, yeah, sorry about it being a little bit longer than the usual videos. But, uh, you know, I got carried away. It's been a few days since I read anything. And um, I just wanted to, uh, you know, read, read something. Read some more, you know. Yeah, man. So... With that said, I did say I was going to look up um, what that TC something blah blah blah. So anyway, I basically copy and paste basically. Now you see in everything I look up. So anyway, TCO2, TCO2E. What does that mean? TCO2E. So TCO2E stands for tons of carbon dioxide. CO2 equivalent ton is a fancy way of writing metric ton or 2,200 pounds. Carbon dioxide equivalent is a standard unit for counting greenhouse gas, GHG, emissions regardless of whether they are from carbon dioxide or another gas such as methane. So there you go. I just help everybody who is always watching this understand what tco2e mean cuz me never they understand it me never they know what it means so sometimes you read and you 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 read certain words when you really understand and you can get get to comprehend what the the, the author or the article is saying it's good to take a break copy and paste what you copy the 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 the, the word that you are trying to identify and paste it into a dictionary or paste it onto Google. Usually, you, you get a d definition that is even close to giving you a proper understanding. Or even give you a proper understanding of what you're reading about. So anyway, anyway, I'm signing off. I just write it down. I'm going to sign off. And I'm going to refresh. I'm going to refresh. Bam. Crypto.com. Response to Shiba in your community. It's called for bone listing. Man, I'm not be a foolish. You want to? All right. Look at more, yeah.